Hi, I'm Balaji Chipada and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In continuation of our SQL series, in this video, we will learn how to delete records, how to update records and how to create tables inside your database. So without any delay, let's get started. In the previous videos, we have learned how to insert data into our tables, right? This is our IMDB table schema on the left side. I have added multiple extra columns. I hope you remember the structure or schema of our IMDB database. In the previous video, we have added this record in which the ID value is 41232321 and the movie name is Thor and it is of year 2011 and rank score is 7. Now let's say after a couple of days, the rank score got changed because let's say today, today a movie got released and on the release day you will have higher number of rating so let's say out of 10 we got 8 but as the day progresses the average rating might get decreased or increased right so let's say after 10 days the rating has been converted to 7.5 out of 10 so at the first time the movie got released you will do insert like this and you will add this value 8 in the rank score right and after that you would have to change this to 7.5 so how do you update the record do you want to delete this and add a new record that is time consuming right if you already have all the details here why do you want to delete rather than directly update this value to 7.5 so that is an option right so let's learn how to update records in our table so we have another command called update so let me just show you this the same movie id so if I execute this, I get this data 412321. The movie name is Thor and year is 2011 and rank score is 7. Now let me explain the syntax of update. So you have a keyword called update and after that you have to utilize your table name. Here I'm using movies as a table name and then you have to do set. That means you are setting the new data and which in which columns you want to set what values. So column 1 is equal to value 1 column 2 equal to value 2 so likewise you can update as many columns as you can and you have to specify a where condition because let's say this is my whole table which have multiple records i don't want to update rank score for all of these records right i want to update the rank score for a specific movie called thor and the id is basically this one so that is why i need to have a where condition it will pinpoint to the exact location now in our use case if i have to talk about this so this is how it would look like update movies table i am setting i am only setting my rank score of course i can update the remaining columns as well except the id column because it is a primary key i am setting up 9 where id equal to this one initially we have a rank score as 7 right now let's execute this and let's see what will happen if I execute, it got executed and without any issues. Now, if I select this one, I get the rank score as 9. And you can update multiple records at the same time as well. Because let's say I have this table of data right here. And I want to update for all the movies. Let's a hypothetical situation. All the movies which is released in the year 2010 to have a rank score of 5. I want for all the movies in which the year is 2010, I want the rank score to be 5. So even then I can do it. But let's take one more example. So that is where where condition will help you actually. So I am updating my movies table. I am setting my rank score equal to 8.5 where year is greater than 2010 and rank score is less than 8. So what this means? So let's first break down the where condition. So this will return you all the movies in which it is released after 2010 and rank score is less than 8. And for all of these movies, I am setting my rank score as 8.5. Let's understand how this will work in practical. So if I say select star from movies where I will just select this one. So I am just taking all of these values. And I have only one data. So let's do it like this. Let's do 2006 and let's execute this. So now I have a couple of records, right? 
so all of these records are basically like this so it is basically having a year greater than 2006 and rank score is less than 8 now i want to update all of these rank score to 8.5 right now i am doing update on multiple records at a single statement i am updating the movies table setting the rank score as 8.5 where year greater than 2010 and rank score less than 8 now let's execute this you are using a safe update where a table to disable this what is the what is the error toggle the option in the preferences so this is the error that we got so what sql is saying update set movie rank score okay you are using a safe mode and you try to update a table without a where condition that uses a key column let me just rephrase everything what happened so far for you sql doesn't allow you to update or delete the records without a where conditions in which the primary key is involved because that is not a safe way to update the records but for now i have disabled the safe update so how can you disable go to the settings of this workbench go to sql editor and then go disable this tick mark which is save updates and click on ok and restart your sql workbench and that would be good to go now let me execute this okay and this got executed now if i execute this let me show get you the table okay what is happening now if you look at this initially when we executed this statement we got three records right but right now it is empty can you guess why it is empty if you know please let me know in the comment section below because we have updated the rank score to 8.5 right now there are no records in this condition because now the rank score which is previously less than 8 become 8.5 so now we have to check for equal to condition equal to 8.5 i hope you understood that equal to 8.5 now let me execute this so now i got all the movies which are greater than year 2006 and all of them are having a rank score of 8.5 because i did an update of multiple rows by using this command hopefully you understood how to update a single row and how to update multiple rows based on where condition if you have any queries so far, please let me know in the comment section below and I will reply to each and every one of you. Now let's understand one more important concept called delete. Now we have seen how to do update, right? Now let's say I want to delete this record. Let me show you the record first. So this is our record, which is 412321 Thor 2011 and 9. Let's say the movie got banned or you want to delete this movie from the database. So how can you do it? Delete from movies where id equal to this one. Now let me execute this. This got executed and if I want to select the same column, I'm going to get a empty data set like this because there are no records cor corresponding to this id because we have deleted that. So this is how you can delete the records from your table. Now there is one more command called truncate which is which works like a delete as well but let me show you what will happen when i am using this now first let's select star from employees now if i do this so employees is a table which i have created in the previous videos if you don't have you can use it on any other table as well now this is my employees table now i can up delete this employees table record number four so let me do this delete from employees where id equal to 4 now if i execute this this is going to delete that particular record in which id is 4 now if i get me all the records of that table i am going to get only three records hopefully that is fine now what if i want to empty all the records of my table you cannot sit and write delete from this id equal to 1 2 3 you cannot do like that right or you can just do something like this where delete from table where id equal to 1 id greater than 1 greater than or equal to 1 and id less than or equal to max you can get the max of the id by using a subquery as well or let's say i want to get 3 so if i do like this this is going to delete multiple records but is there any other way that you can delete all the records of a table that is where truncate will help you actually so if i execute this this is going to delete all the records from my table now let's me 
execute this one so i do have my table structure id name and manager id but i don't have the data so when i'm using truncate truncate will delete all the data of the particular table and it is going to retain the structure of the table there is one more thing called delete table so what this will do is delete table will delete the whole table you will not even able to execute this one if you are doing a delete table truncate table will only delete the records that are present inside your sql table hopefully you understood the difference between delete table and truncate table we will also look at this one in the later videos for now let's understand about this now that we have learned how to insert how to update and how to delete records from my tables now where is this being used now let's say you are working in a airport and you are working as a flight operator let's assume like this and you are maintaining a database let's assume like this and whenever someone books a ticket you are going to enter this data into your database saying person x booked a y flight at this time and now he might cancel the booking as well right that is where you will use delete now let's say he want to reschedule the flight maybe he want to go to the next flight that is where you will use update so in any real world application if you want to edit or manipulate data insert delete update are mandatory commands and whenever you are using delete or truncate you need to make sure you are using a where condition so that you will not delete all the records so there is one more thing like this delete from employees and if i do this this is going to be working same as truncate table employees so truncate is basically delete Hopefully you understood the difference between these two.